Hello everyone, my name is Humphrey Chung and welcome to another Router Gods video. In this video we're actually going to continue on from our previous BGP video where we took the two loopbacks of all fives and all sixes and we popped them into the network statement of BGP. Here what we're going to do is we're going to take these same loopbacks, throw them into RIP and see how those RIP advertisements will conflict with BGP. So if you've been learning your Cisco stuff, you know that BGP, internal BGP, has an administrative distance of 200, and that RIP has an AD of 120, so RIP should win. Well, let's see what happens when RIP does win. So we're going to continue on from the configuration. I'm going to just quickly go over the router too, do a quick show IP route, so you can see that I am getting the all five, so 5550, from the other network, from the other router via BGP with that B right there. Alright, so I'm going to fire up Notepad here. So the command to pop in the network into RIP, router RIP network 5000. It's pretty easy. Now, the reason we can get away with this is RIP is already configured on router 1 and router 2. So the no auto and all that good stuff. So I'm going to right click router 1, boom, it's right there, exit out of there, show IP route. Okay, so everything's pretty good here. RIP is there, we still have our BGP route to all sixes. Let me do a show IP BGP. Okay, so you can see something interesting here. Let's see here, network 5550 got a star there, which means it is a valid route, it's a best route, so it's directly connected. Okay, so that, that didn't change. Let's see what changes on router 2, if anything. Hit the up arrow, show IP route. And you can see here that that RIP route has been replaced, or that BGP route has been replaced with the RIP route. That What was formerly B is now R. Okay, the same network. Here it's 120 instead of 200. So, so what exactly happened? Well, we're still getting both advertisements. We're getting RIP and we're getting BGP. But what's happening on router 2 is it has to make a decision of, okay, well, I'm getting two. I can only put one into my routing table. Which one do I pick? And it's going to pick the one with the lower administrative distance. We could still look at the BGP advertisement, show IP BGP. And you can see here we are getting it. So 5550 slash 24. The next top is still there. Okay. The caret means it is a best route, but we have a R, which means rib failure. So what does rib failure mean? Routing information base. What it means is you're getting it through the routing protocol. So you're getting it through BGP, but you're not putting it into the main routing table. Okay, so there's a distinct difference there. You are receiving the advertisement. BGP is working fine. But because of RIP's better administrative distance, you're just not using it. So it's just telling you that, okay, you're not, you're, you're getting the advertisements, you're just not putting it into the main routing table, okay, which is fine in, in most cases. Okay, so we'll go to router 2, and we're going to configure that loop back to go into RIP. So router RIP, network 60000. I'm going to copy that into my clipboard. Go back to router 1, just do a show IP route really quick. So you can see here, I've got my BGP route 6660, administrative distance of 200. I'm going to pop over here, conf T, right click, router RIP, network 6000, pop that sucker in there. As I go over here, I'm going to do a show IP route, and that B has changed to an R which means the BGP route has been replaced by RIP. You can see the better administrative distance here. If I do a show IP BGP, we should see the same thing. R for RIP failure. Caret means I could still, it's a, it's best route. I is internal, so that was advertised by IBGP. And we still are getting the BGP advertisements. We're just simply not popping it into the IP routing table. All right, so that was a quick and easy way of how the better administrative distance of RIP can conflict with your internal BGP routes. Thanks for watching.